Hello everyone and welcome back to Out This Week. I'm your host Brian Suffield. This is episode 3 and this is going to be a very short episode because there's not many films coming out. There's only 4 movies coming out. 2 wide releases and 2 limited releases. Here we go. Sicario is expanding this week everywhere. I am so pumped to see this movie. Like I told you guys on the first episode, I adore the cast. I love the director. I love the idea of the movie. I love crime films, so I'm already sold on this movie. But the wide release that's coming out this week, The Martian, directed by Ridley Scott. I could not be more excited for this film. I've heard nothing but great things about this movie ever since its premiere at TIFF. I love the cast. Matt Damon is my second favorite actor working today behind Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, this guy knows how to give a great performance in literally every film he's in. Even if the film is crap, he knows how to be good. He knows how to give a good performance because he is a great actor. I love Matt Damon. I love watching him on screen. Really, Scott, not having the best career lately, but everyone is calling this film his comeback. He is great with sci-fi. I am so excited to see this movie, and I don't see myself being disappointed by it. You got my babe Jessica Chastain in it. You got Jeff Daniels, Shuatel Ejiofor, Kristen Wiig. Michael Pena, Sebastian Stan, K. Mara, so many people in this movie, it's crazy. The cast is insane. Like, here's the cast right here, other than Matt Damon. I mean, oh my god, it's great. I'm so excited for this movie. I'm going to see it in 3D with my friends. Expect a review for that on Friday night. You won't be disappointed with my review because I don't see myself being disappointed with this movie. I do think it's going to be in my top 10 of the year. I may be going a little too far, but I do think it's going to be very high in my favorites of the year list. And now limited releases. First, we got Free Hell. The stars Julianne Moore, Ellen Page, Michael Shan, and Steve Carell. This is about a cop from New Jersey who gets diagnosed with cancer, and it's about her and her benefits. That's all I really know. I haven't really looked into this story. I love the cast in this movie. Julianne Moore is one of the best actresses we've ever had. I um, That was the last time I did the Film Cell podcast. I haven't done an episode since. I mean, do you guys not understand how long I've been waiting to do an episode for that show? Wayne forever. Wayne to on. It looks like she's going to give another Oscar performance. Ellen Page is terrific. I love her. I'm kind of upset that she's not straight because I always wanted to be with Ellen Page. But, you know, I'm happy that she came out and she showed who she wanted to be. Michael Shan's a terrific actor. He's terrific in nearly everything he's in. Steve Carell has really improved his career, especially when he did Foxcatcher. So yeah, the cast is terrific. I've been hearing mixed things about the film, though. I haven't heard really many great things about it. I'm really hoping it's not a bad film because, like I said, the cast is great. The story is really good. It kind of is a little Oscar bait, but it doesn't look as Oscar bait as a film like um da 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 da. See, you're not gonna know what film I'm talking about. People who know me well know exactly what film I'm talking about, but other people are like, "What film can he possibly be talking about?" Exactly. Free Held looks good. And I'm really hoping that it is a good film. And then finally, The Walk, directed by Robert Zemeckis, about Philippe Petit, the guy who walked across the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center back and forth in the 70s. This film looks amazing. 3D, I'm seeing this in IMAX 3D. It stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Now, I'm a little curious about it because I've never seen him do a French accent. I love this particular line in the trailer. Play it. I need you to help me pull this off. I need you to help me pull this off. But I'm hearing that once you hear the French accent, you're like, oh, it's a little weird. But then once the movie progresses, people are saying that it works. I'm really excited about that because I love Joseph Gordon Levitt. I think he's one of the most likable human beings in Hollywood. He is such a good actor. I really liked him as a writer and director of what he did with Don John. I thought he did a good job with that film. I'm really looking forward to this movie. And I love Robert Zemeckis. I mean, every film the guy's made is good. Nearly every film. I shouldn't say every film. I mean, for goodness sakes, the Back to the Future trilogy, Forrest Gump, Castaway, and Flight. And then he's done some other films too, like his anime films. Not the greatest films, but they're pretty good for someone who generally doesn't do animation. But this film looks incredible. I'm really excited for this film. And I'm really fascinated by the story too. So I'm curious to see how it is. And I'm curious to know why it's PG, but I'm sure it's going to be great. Everyone's praising this film. A lot of people are praising Joseph Gordon Levitt. Maybe he can get an Oscar nomination for this. And I would love to see that. So, guys, that is it for this episode of Out This Week. Tell me down below what you're looking forward to that's coming out this week. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys soon. <laughs>